Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight and this week we are taking a huge departure for the, from the norm for my channel. The fish that we're going to talk about this week, the clown barb, actually gets to like four and a half inches and that is a very unusual species or size of species for me to be keeping in the fish room. However, the clown barb or Barbotes dunkeri is a really beautiful fish and I got them in as a special order for a good customer of mine, so I thought I would take the opportunity to tell you guys a little more about them. So let's get started. Now I have stuck some Sarah Onip to the glass here just to get these guys to hold still for you. As with most mid-sized schooling fish, they move really quick. And I wanted to make sure that you could see the beautiful markings on them. Now they're in this aquarium with some Erichthys crinichoids or the uh, Indian drape fin barb. And as I mentioned, these clown barbs were a special order. They're not something I'll generally have in the fish room. That being said, I think they're absolutely beautiful with those striking markings and that nice rich color. Now these guys are just juveniles at just about two and a half inches. So definitely not at their full size or showing sexual dimorphism. You can generally sex them because the males are more brightly colored and a little bit more streamlined in body size. The females are wider through the abdomen and slightly less colored. These guys come from forest streams throughout the peninsular Malaysia as well as from Singapore. Now the vast majority of the species or the fish seen in the trade are farmed which is wonderful because it's a very sustainable fish to breed. As you can see, they're very easy to feed in the aquarium, readily accepting any dried or prepared as well as frozen foods. In the wild, they're more of an opportunistic forager, which means that they will pick at algae as well as micro crustaceans, etc. Now they are plant safe, though I would probably use caution with really fine leaved delicate plants. As I mentioned, they get to about four and a half inches and can take a temperature range of 68 to 82 or 18 to 28 degrees Celsius. Mid 70s to low 80s is probably best for these guys. Now in the wild, they come from forest streams that have a decent amount of current, are very clear, and have a good oxygen content, which makes these guys especially well suited to house with a lot of the really cool loach species. They would certainly do well also in a big hill stream aquarium. Now it's really, really important when housing barbs like this that you have enough of them they are a schooling species, but more importantly, they set up a hierarchical structure, which means that they'll actually fight and pick at each other or other fish if there aren't enough of them. For that reason, I really do recommend 10 or more of these guys so that they can worry about each other instead of the other fish in the aquarium. Now they are very breedable, being egg scatterers and exhibiting no parental care. All in all, I think these guys would look absolutely stunning in a big, long, well oxygenated river type setup and they're really beautiful underrated fish. Now that doesn't mean you have to have a power head or strong directional flow however you would want to make sure that there is good oxygenation with a high bubble output from a sponge filter or good turnover rate from a canister or hang on back filter. All in all, I think they're a really cool fish, but they are a barb that has certainly earned the reputation that is so common with barbs. And that is they can be snippy, nippy, and snarky, which means it's especially important that you have enough of them. For a fish like this, I would really recommend at least a 30 long, if not larger, in order to maintain a really good group. Imagine the display you could get though with a bunch of loaches and these gorgeous fish with some be in a beautiful planet aquarium. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I have some exciting things planned for you guys. As always, make sure you stop by my Instagram, Facebook, and website where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano.